This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hey there, I'm Cameron Harris. We love making this show available to you free of charge, and you can help keep it that way by making a contribution to our Karma Jar or by becoming one of our sponsors. To learn more, visit our website. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D toolbox. Now, in our last episode, we talked about IDX Renditioner, which allowed us to create photorealistic renders of our models. But there's other things you can do to tweak the way that your model looks. And things, these are things that you can do right in SketchUp. So if, you're, if you don't need the photorealistic look, but you want something different for when you print out a photo of your model or something like that, or you just want to kind of change things up a little bit, make it look cooler, this is the way to do it. It's built right into SketchUp, and it's a feature called Styles. You can think of this kind of like styles or themes is another way to kind of think of it. It basically affects the way that faces and edges look in your model. So let's get right into it. So you can see here, this is a model of a kitchen that I did a while back. And uh, this model is pretty much done. I've got the walls and the ceiling, and it's a combination of a kitchen, dining room kind of a thing. Pretty happy with the way this looks, but I want to kind of tweak the way it looks a little bit. I want to change its style. So let's go ahead and get a nice uh, little view from the corner here of the model. And we're going to go up to the Window menu. And we're going to go Window, and we're going to choose Styles. So we're going to click on that, and that brings up this little browser over here. Now, you can see right here, we've got uh, icons down here, each one representing a different style. And then we've got uh, the title and the description up top here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. So you can see it says default colors, shaded with textures, sky enabled, brown background, all that stuff. So that's nice. That's the way your model looks normally. But we're going to make it so it doesn't look like that. And by that, we're going to be changing the category so we can see other styles. So you can see right here it says, right here it says in model. Well, that, those are basically any styles that have been applied to your model and are then associated with your model. Uh, so because we only have ever had the default style, that's the only one that's showing up. We're going to click on that and change the category. We could click on styles, and that brings up a kind of folder structure. I like going into the individual categories. So here we have assorted styles, for example. And you can see the little icons give you a preview of what it's going to look like. So let's say we were to click on this first one here. You can see here, this is pretty wild. It makes it look like a drawing. It gives it a very cool kind of uh, papery look, makes it completely monochromatic, and makes it look like these are all little sketched lines. It's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it was hand-drawn almost. Uh, so let's try another one here. Let's try this blue one. This one looks a little bit more like a blueprint. It's gotten all different shades of blue for the faces, and then it's got white lines. And we could try maybe this dark one here. That's pretty cool. That's kind of a some of these are just kind of fun. These are, uh, this one looks like it's some kind of an old computer program. Let's try sketchy, sketchy edges. This one's pretty fun. So if we click on this one, for example, this one makes it look like it was drawn with a marker. Uh, we could try a different one, a little bit lighter, more like pencil lines. You can see it's even doing a thing where lines that are really completely straight look like they're, they've been hand drawn. They have little uh, curves and imperfections in them. We could try something a little bit lighter more of a blue, or this. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that when you change a style, sometimes any photo textures that you have applied or, or any colors that you've applied just go away. In this case, most of these, uh, they want to give you the look of like being on paper. As such, they completely get rid of all color and make it completely white. Or in this case, they make it completely uh, this kind of dark gray. Other times, if you change a different color set, it might change the colors but not photo textures. You want to be careful with that. Uh, but like, let's say we were to go with something else, such as, let's go back to the default styles here and click on the first one. This is the default style, back to normal. You can see the colors, the photos, it's all back. So that's the default. Uh, but we could even tweak the default a little bit. Uh, you can see this gives you a wireframe view where it's more transparent. You can see all the lines. This is monochromatic. 
This will give you all colors, but no photo textures. So if you have a lot of photo textures and you just want to see the very simple colors, that can be a nice thing to do. Uh, we could, this is also kind of interesting, if I zoom out here, you'll notice that if I go to the default style, you see that we're in this kind of uh, gray, ground, white sky kind of a thing. If we were to tweak that to this style here, you can see the ground becomes green, the sky becomes blue. So it can also change the background of the SketchUp model. So let's leave it at uh, default for now. Actually, I like simple. Let's go simple. Now, so that's all well and good, and you can get some really cool effects by using the pre-built styles, but you can also make your own. So let's say we were to go over to this uh, simple style here, and let's say we want to tweak this a little bit. We can go to the Edit tab. You see we're on the Select tab right now. We can go to the Edit tab, and we can adjust the settings. So we could, for example, uh, we have a checkbox here that says display edges. If we uncheck that, we now have no edges. All those black lines go away. We could change the color. Instead of all same, we could go by axis and things. That's kind of affecting the uh, lines. So you can see that the vertical lines are blue, and then the uh, horizontal lines are green and red, depending on which direction they're facing. Or we can go by material so that the lines kind of blend in with the material, but they're still there. And we can also add some different things. Let's say we check this profiles box. You can see that that makes the lines a little bit thicker. Let's try cranking this up to maybe eight. You can see that makes the profile lines a lot thicker. We could add some jitter. And you can see that makes it look like, uh, I'll try turning off profiles here. You can see the jitter makes it look a lot more uh, jagged we could also add some extension to it and all that. And that's just affecting the lines. We can click over here to this button and affect the face. So we could change the front color and the back color, that default white and purple. Uh, we could also uh, enable or disable transparency. You can see, so we're turning off the transparency of those glass pieces we have there. And we could also change the style to maybe that kind of monochromatic thing or uh, even make it x-ray so we can see through it. We can do that too. Let's say we were to display watermarks or you know, just change all these different things. So you can really tweak just about everything. Now, one thing I do want to point out, let me switch to a different style. We'll go back to a sketchy edges style. I like this one. One thing I do want to point out is notice that when I move the camera, it reverts back to just very simple. It's still monochromatic, but it's no longer those cool marker lines, it's all just straight lines. It can't display those cool graphical lines while you're moving. I wish it could, but there's just not enough processing power to do that. So it's going to look very simple while you're moving, but once you freeze, it recalculates the lines and they come back. So this is really something you want to do. If, if you're doing like a stylized thing, like these sketchy lines, do those once you're finished with your model, or not when you're like in the middle of modeling something you need it to be fast and responsive. Do it once you're exporting out an image or you're showing it to someone. Uh, or you could go with uh, one of the default styles, and let's say you just want to change it so that the sky is blue and the ground is green rather than white and brown. So you can change that too, and that it doesn't matter if you're moving or not. So some of the mo more simple ones like this will always look the same. Others like the sketchy styles, will look very different when you're moving because it has to calculate more. But this is a pretty fun way to tweak things uh, in your SketchUp model. Go back to sketchy edges. I just love this one. This is so cool. But that's a really fun way to tweak things in your model and make it look very different. Uh, this won't give you anything that's really photorealistic like IDX did in our last episode, but this will give you some pretty cool looks. And you could print this up and make it look like it's a hand drawing or a blueprint can be a really cool thing to add to your portfolio or just send to some friends. Now, until next time, be sure to visit our website at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'll have the show notes for this episode, and I'll uh, throw this uh, model up there as well as part of the lesson file so you can download it and try it out for yourself. And if you have any questions or comments for me about the show, you can send me an email at cameron at harwoodpodcast.com. Until next time, guys, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling.